All right, we're into the spring season. Uh, we're getting ramping up towards the uh, seeding uh, part of it, but our sort of operation uses a ton of seed trays. Uh, so much so that it doesn't really make sense to do stuff inside when you're at maybe 40, 50 seed trays. It's just too cumbersome, too difficult, too dirty, too wet. It's just easier to put everything outside, but because we want to put everything outside, uh, then becomes the challenge of getting good germination because you're fighting the elements of nature. Uh, inside here, it's the greenhouse. It's warm, but it's only warm simply because the sun is on us. Uh, but as soon as that sun goes away, it gets quite cold in here. And because we do all of our seed trays out here, sometimes we, we may get the germination that we want, but it may not happen as readily. It might take two more weeks or three more weeks. And certainly when you get into the springtime, you want as quick of germination to get stuff growing because you need to get them into the soil because eventually the summer crops are gonna get going. So you have to think of uh, ways to, to beat uh, nature when you're living or working within a, an unheated greenhouse. So, we do cold frames. Cold frames uh, people are using. There's nothing new about them. Uh, we tried this last year. Worked very well for us. But the frame that I had uh, built for it, I put a tarp, just uh, a six mil tarp, similar to what's, what's on here. Uh, and it's, it worked. It did what it needed to do, but it didn't withstand the elements of the whole year within uh, the, the greenhouse. It gets way too hot in the summer and it just degraded. Uh, so people use windows or they use tarps, uh, but I haven't seen people use this. So I saw this at Home Depot. So that is a polycarbonate sun tough, I think it's called polycarbonate sheet. So you can get polycarbonate sheets that are flat uh, and those are crazy, crazy expensive. So those would be hundreds of dollars easily. But this is a specific uh, solar or sun panel uh it's about 20 25 bucks so you can very quickly build a nice quick easy efficient cold frame this is probably i mean the wood's more expensive it doesn't need to be two by fours it can easily be two by threes and you don't need that middle bar but if you were to do this in two by threes with the panel itself you're probably looking at 20 25 bucks and that's very quickly uh, a cold frame you don't have to do the windows the only thing that maybe is an issue is is the, the, the panel itself is only 26 inches wide. Um, so if you wanted to be uh, have more depth, you'd have to uh, uh, butt them up together. Um, they only come at least at Home Depot that I had. It was only 26 inches wide. And it's about eight foot long. So this is a pretty beefy cold frame. So we can fit probably 15 of our trays in here. Uh, and that's what our plan is for the spring. We'll see how this handles up. I'll probably take these out once the summer months hit, but it's durable. Uh, it's going to withstand the elements, certainly in the beginning season. Uh, it actually comes, since it doesn't go all the way to the end, it's nicely vented, uh, whether you want that or not, it doesn't sit flush, so there is some venting with this. Just because it is not only hot and uh, warm in this area, but it's gonna be even warm in that area. You really don't wanna roast, uh, specifically the spring seeds. Uh, because those are much more sensitive to the heat so you don't want to cook on them to uh, because you'll just kill the germination at that point so I did want some venting associated with it there are things you can put to uh, cover up those holes I do have some if I do want to use that but um, we'll see how this goes so very much impressed uh, with how durable everything is handling look forward to using this and felt like I should uh, let you guys know that this sort of material very cheap about 20 25 bucks at, at, at Home Depot should very quickly get you a nice uh, cold frame that will last the elements for, for years to come.